surviving cancer. Is it really all that matters? I beg to differ. I think it's equally important to make sure that cancer survivors have a good quality of life in terms of physical and mental well-being following their cancer treatment. The surgery we offer to patients with an advanced bubble cancer is a surgery that through the last few decades has changed the game. Uh, it has drastically increased the survival, but it's a big surgery. And we hypothesized that patients undergoing the surgery would be in risk of developing what we call late adverse effects, which are certain issues a patient can develop following the surgery. We investigated if patients uh, undergoing this surgery developed any of these late adverse effects by distributing questionnaires three, six, and 12 months following the surgery. And we found that the three most frequent late adverse effects among these patients were fatigue, which is a cancer-related tiredness, fear of cancer recurrence, which is a high fear of getting the cancer back, and depression. We also found that three out of every four patients, they develop more than one of these issues at the same time. We also investigated the quality of life patients reported having after the surgery. And we found that patients that develop a moderate or severe late adverse effect, the red line, they had a lower quality of life compared to patients that developed no or just a mild late adverse effect, the green line. But more interestingly, if we compare with the quality of life a general Danish population report having, people like you and me, that's the blue dotted line. We see that patients with no or just a mild late adverse effect, they have a similar quality of life as the general Danish population. This tells us that even though these patients have cancer and undergo big surgery, they are able to maintain a good quality of life as long as they don't develop these issues. So it's important to focus on late adverse effects and treat them and see if we can move this red line up to the green and blue line. Our research shows that it is possible to move this red line up. We do that by referring patients to a team of expert psychologists. Psychologists that have is uh, knowledge about these issues and who are able to treat the most debilitating late adverse effect that a patient might develop. By this, late adverse effects can be minimized and quality of life can be improved. My name is Rogini and I'm a surgeon. And I would like to be able to not just cut away and cure your cancer, but also make sure you have a good life after. Thank you.